Hey guys, so welcome back to my page. So um, this video, if you've read the title, is going to be a prom look. So I filmed this earlier and then I traveled. So here is my rendition of a um, prom outfit that I've squeezed into that I no longer fit in. This is from high school. It's actually from my girlfriend. I never got to wear this dress, but thank God because it I look horrible in it. Um, so what I did is I filmed a silver and kind of brown and black smoky eye and I added glitter on the lid and this is kind of a really classical prom look that you can wear with almost any dress unless you're wearing gold. Don't wear this if you're wearing a gold dress. It's just going to look weird. And then I paired it with at first a really bright red lip so if you like red lips you can wear that. If you like more of a neutral lip like I like then you can wear that and it looks great with both of them. So um, I want to know about your prom experiences. So I have Travis over there. He doesn't want to be on camera, but I was just asking him about um, when he asked somebody to prom. And he said he never went to prom except to senior year. And what was it, winter formal, Travis? Yeah. He asked um, a girl, what was the event called? Okay, it was a halftime at a basketball game, and they were doing a game show on the court, and he had the microphone, and he said everybody and their mother was there, and he asked a girl to the winter formal there. My boyfriend, my senior year, asked me out to prom, and I was, like, super nervous, and I said no. I don't know why I did that. It was, like, the meanest thing I've ever done. But uh, if you do have a date, and you did say yes to your boyfriend, and you want to get this prom look, you can keep watching. Have a wonderful night at your prom, no drinking and driving, and enjoy your time because it's going to be just a few short years of memories, my love. Enjoy high school while it lasts. I'll see you guys in the next video. Love you. Bye. Hey guys, so welcome back to my page. So today's video I'm going to do for you is going to be a prom look. Uh, I'm going to do everything I would do if I was to do somebody going to prom, do their makeup, or if I myself was to go to prom now. So I'm going to start off by doing my face, obviously, like I always start off with. I'm going to use an oil-free moisturizer by Neutrogena. This does not have SPF in it. You do not want anything that has an SPF in it because you don't want a flashback from the camera. Next step, and this is very important, you want to make sure that you prime. You can use any type of primer that's suitable for your skin. I'm going to use this Smashbox Photo Finish Foundation Primer, and this is in the Color Correcting Balance. Your primer is going to help your makeup stay on all night long, even when you're dancing and sweating and under all of that light. It's going to last you from when you first put it on, to pictures, to dinner, to pictures, to walk into the all night of prom event, and hopefully the after party. Hopefully you're being safe. We have after prom here in Ottawa, and when I lived in Vermont, we never had that. So maybe you'll have something fun like that for your prom. The next thing I am going to do is I'm going to do my foundation. Now I'm going to use my MAC Pro Longwear foundation. And as you can tell, this is just a smidge dark for me. So I am going to pump that out on the back of my hand. And then I'm going to mix my concealer with it just to tone the color down just a wee bit. So you want a full coverage foundation because you're going to go heavy on your eyes and you really want your skin to look absolutely flawless. So even if you have perfect skin, I would still opt for a decently heavy foundation because you just want to look absolutely airbrushed. And then just start stippling in areas where you need more coverage. That way you're not spreading that pigment out too much. You're kind of just pushing it into the skin. And then we're going to prime our eyes. To make sure that your eyeshadow doesn't go anywhere all night long. So you're going to prime from lash line to brow bone. You can use whatever primer you want. That Fergie primer from Wet n Wild is an amazing drugstore primer. Uh, an amazing drugstore uh, product as a dupe for the MAC Pro Longwear is um, the Revlon uh, Color Stay, which is my favorite foundation ever. But this is a MAC Paint Pot in Soft Ochre. 
So I'm going to start off with my Maybelline Definer Brow, and this one is in medium brown. You really want a nice defined brow because it's going to help with the stronger eye that we're going to put on. And then, just to perfect it, I'm going to go in with my Amazonian Clay Waterproof Brown Mousse. And I'm just going to give some texture and darken it up. I'm going to use my Tarte Amazonian Clay Creaseless Waterproof Concealer. I'm just going to put a strip underneath my brows. And make sure everything is perfect. I'll use this one. I'm going to use Barely Branded. This is one of the color tattoos by Maybelline. And I'm just going to put this on the lower portion of my eye. Flat brush. This one is by um, Urban Decay. It came with the Naked 3 palette. It's just one of these flat tops. So the palette that I'm going to be using is the 120 color palette by BH Cosmetics. It looks like this. It's about 20 bucks for this whole thing. And it comes with all of these colors. So wherever your occasion is, you're going to find a color in here for it. So the section I'm going to start with is this bottom portion right here. So I'm going to start off with this silver right here. I'm going to take it on my flat brush and I'm going to pack it on the lower portion of my eye. Then I'm going to just clean off my brush and I'm going to take this white color right here and I am going to use that to set right underneath my brow just to absorb um, that concealer and also just highlight underneath that brow bone. Then I'm going to switch to kind of a fluffier brush like this. This is by Eco Tools. It's just it came in like one of their kits. And I'm going to go into this um, gray color right here. It's right next to that silver color just a little bit. Tap off your brush and you're going to start working this on the outer corner and up in the crease. Then I'm going to go into this gray down here. So we were just in this one and now we're going to move to this one right here. It's just a little bit darker. And kind of doing the same motion. I'm just not bringing it in as far. I'm kind of keeping it out here. Go into this color right here. It's like a brown. Um, and it's got um, it's got a little bit of a shimmer to it. So I'm just going to use that, and I'm going to start working that on the outer corner to deepen up the eye. I'm not a huge fan of using black, so I do I do typically um, reach for a brown to warm things up or to darken look. So that's just what I'm doing here. You can go in with a clean fluffy brush and just make sure everything's really blended together. And I'm going to dip it in this matte brown right here, dip, dip, and just a little bit in that shimmery black. And I'm just going to use that to work out here on this outer crease. And I'm just kind of blending it right here in this crease, just right across, not bringing it up too high, not bringing it in too far. Just right there. Because I got a detail of brush for this. So... I'm going to put it out there and kind of bring it in. I 
I'm even bringing it a little bit on this lower lash line like that. Then I'm going to run the excess of that black and brown right here on the bottom lash line. And I'm going to take my MAC Pro Longwear Concealer and I'm just going to put that right underneath the eye. And you can sharpen that eyeshadow, just sharpen the outer corner of it. Under my eye, I'm going to use my Eye Definer Flat Automatic Eye Pencil by Positions Formula, and it's black. And this is just to give you a really nice, sharp line on the bottom lash line. My Liquid Liner by Physicians Formula, and this is an ultra black. And then I'm going to wing it out. And I'm just going to connect it to the bottom. I'm going to set my under eye with my e.l.f. High Definition eye, Under Eye Setting Powder. I'm just going to set that concealer that I did. I'm going to go into my Lorac Perfection Fake Powder. Like this. Just because it gives a kind of a nice sheen to the face. And I'm going to set everything. And it's also going to give some more coverage to everything. So I'm, before I forget, I'm going to take this LA Splash Diamond Eyeliner, and this is in Tierra. It's just a liquid eyeliner, um, and it's got glitter. It's a glitter eyeliner. So I'm going to put this right here on the inner corner across the lid, and I am not going over that black liner. And then I'm just going to take them right here in the tear duct region and just a little bit on this lower lash line. I'm going to contour using my Chocolate Soleil. Oh, I just taste chocolate. Do my E3. You want to make sure that you go a little bit more on the blush than you usually would because it's going to fade throughout the night and it's especially going to be drowned out from your pictures. So you want to make sure you go just a little bit darker with your blush. I'm trying to find my blush brush. This one will just, oh, there it is. This one will just have to do. So this is the. Um, Oh, broke that. That's nice. This is the Nordstrom blush set, and this one is in shade 5 right here. It's a really pinky color. I'm going to put on a highlight. I'm using NARS Albatross. I'm going to use on the top of my cheek. Down the center of my nose. And mascara, lots and lots and lots of mascara. So at this point, you can choose to do two different lip colors. You can do a light pink or you can do a dark red. Now, I'm not really a fan of dark red. Well, oh, let me see. I've never done a red lip before. I'm gonna do. A, I'm gonna do a red lip for you guys. I've never done one before. So, I mean, I have, just not on camera. And I'm going to use the Rimmel Exaggerate Full Color Lip Liner, and this one is in Red Diva. So I'm just going to line my lips, and I have put foundation and powdered over my lips, so this is going to help everything just last longer. And then I'm going to take this color, which is by Pixel. It's in Devoted. I'm 
Oh my gosh, this just looks so bright. Ah, scares me. Um, and then lashes. Lash, but not least, I'm gonna use my Ardell with these. So you take the lashes off of it by the band gently, and you're gonna put them up against your lashes to see if they need to be cut. You can roll them like this, kind of loosen them up. So I'm gonna cut off the excess that I don't need. And I'm gonna trim them. These are like really long for me. For my taste. And then you line them up. So you can wear this to prom or you can absolutely take this look off. So let's try that. Putting some foundation back over my lips. I'm going to powder them. What I would do is kind of a nude. I'm going to go for Naked Dolly by Too Faced. Mix that with a little bit of Be Free, a Moxie lipstick. So, this is how I would do my prom makeup. I hope you guys like it. And I'll see you in the next video. Um, and if you have a prom dress, you want to see how I would do makeup for it, just shoot me the color of the dress and I'll come up with a look for your dress and maybe you can recreate the look that I make for you. So, I hope this helps. I hope you guys like it. I think this is kind of a classic, whether you go for a white dress, a silver dress, a black dress. You can wear this with pretty much, not with any dress, but you can wear this with a lot of dresses. I think it's a classic, and I think it kind of is a timeless look minus the glitter. So, thanks for watching, guys. I hope this helps. I love you as always, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.